My dad was a gymnast um, starting in high school and he did it throughout college. And then his first career was um, coaching gymnastics. He coached at the University of Washington and then also started his own club gym and had a very successful program um, for a long time, but then eventually retired out of the sport and um, took up firefighting and kind of settled down and gymnastics required a lot of traveling. So he was like, I'm going to start a family and um, had me and was like, okay, I'm going to be done with gymnastics. And then when I got to the age where I started sports, they're like, okay, we're going to try out everything except for gymnastics. We're going to put her in soccer and dance and swimming and t-ball and everything. And they're like, it's just not gymnastics. Um, I didn't do very well at any of those sports. And of course, uh, stepped into the gym and um, uh, I guess never looked back. I love the constant challenge. You're, you're never static. There's always something new to improve. and um every day it's just like coming in and working on those small goals and i am a very slow and steady wins the race kind of athlete so just putting in that time and putting in that hard work and eventually seeing it pay off um in your performances and um, getting new skills is just the best feeling on my team growing up i was pretty much the only asian um gymnast so besides my dad I guess I'm my coach. Um, but when I came to Brown, there are um, multiple other Asian athletes on my team. So it was nice to see like, hey, like just see some more representation on the team. And I know that there's still lots of work to be done um, in that field across teams, um, in teams across the country. But it's like, it's so important to see like people that look like you um, in the spaces that you're, um, inhabiting and also the spaces you're looking towards. I think the most important thing about API Heritage, Heritage Month is about highlighting Asian American voices and accomplishments and especially this year in the wake of recent AAPI hate crimes and all of the anti-Asian sentiment around COVID. It's especially important to provide the community with a space to voice experiences and celebrate culture and heritage and all the good in the community. Both my parents immigrated from Asia when they were children, my mom from Vietnam and my dad from Korea. So I'm the first generation Asian American or Asian American citizen. Um, and I'm super fortunate to have been provided with a very stable, very privileged childhood. And it's something I really try not to take for granted um, because I'm constantly reminded of how much my parents and my grandparents gave up for me to be where I am today. So I think this month especially is the perfect time to reflect on my roots and remember where I came from and um, really embrace my culture, my identity and give thanks to everyone who made it possible.